Hello, all of you wonderful beans out there, and welcome to the stream. I am Razim, and this is The Last Hope Scar. Season 2, Episode 15, Rest and Inspection. This is one of our tabletop RPG campaigns, uh, one of our Pokemon ones, being run with our custom Scar system or stories and creatures in alternate realities. This system is in open play test for playing as Pokemon, Digimon, Monsters from Monster Hunter, and more. So do go check it out either on itch.io or through our Discord, and let us know what you think of the system. We really appreciate the feedback. For now, we'll go ahead and get started with introductions, beginning with Kerr. Greetings and beyond venue, dear viewers. Hello, I'm Kerr. I'm the storyteller. I am here to bring glorious, uh, joyful, happy fun times to everybody. You know, the happy fun times that make people just so very happy. And I do so like making you all happy. Generous bestowal. Kanku tipped fifteen dollars. Support. Hey, I'm Toshime, and I'm playing Bressel the Bulbasaur, Grass Poison type. Hello, I am Octo, and I am playing Cobalt, the roughest, toughest Lucario around, a Fighting Steel type. Thank you for that tip, Kenku. That is the first tier of the tip goal completed. Also, I am Razim, and I am playing as Hunter, the dark psychic type Mightyena. Go ahead, Ken. I am Foxfiend, and I'm playing Ken, the fire type Vulpix. I am Merle. I am playing Midnight, the dark type Zoark, who doesn't feel in danger at all from what Kurt just said. Hello, I'm Teldiris, and I'll be playing Shade, the Dark-type Zorak, who is 100% uh, not at all afraid of whatever's cooked up. Mostly because he's the chef right now a little bit. Uh, Shale. Hey, y'all, uh, this is William Kenku Swiftfoot, and I'm playing Shale, the Grass Ground San and Shrew, and, um, nerd of the party, and, uh, I don't know about that tip goal. Tip goal, that seems ominous. And not in a midnight liking way. Hmm. Taking noise? What taking noise? Take oh! Is that a pipe bomb? No. <laughs> <laughs> Snape. 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 <laughs> Ron. 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 Ron Weasley. Alright, I'm like. Oh my gosh. Alright, and for the recap, we'll go ahead and turn it over to Taldarius. Alright, uh, so we uh, started off last session with our um, initial entry into the Grand Ballroom in, uh, inside of the manor. Uh, there we saw Domino waiting for us on a throne with nothing else around uh we were able to feel presences when we checked but there was no visual indicators that there were others around uh at this we uh we we started up negotiations and discussions with uh most of us just trying to figure out where exactly we stood what rules existed what rules didn't exist and trying to find some way of applying them that uh, that was beneficial to us, although uh, most of our attempts were being uh, completely stymied in that front, because uh, it appeared it was a truly one-way street. Uh, at some point, uh, Greaves does end up showing up and, uh, you know, uh, puts the thumb on the scales ever so slightly for us, and uh, so, you know, that, that, was, that was rather helpful. And then, uh, well, uh, we kind of just did what we do best in that situation, which is, uh, throw shade at it with a, with a, with a bet. 
uh, which he ends up successfully winning because he bet that he uh, was not as uh, weaponless and defenseless in this area as one might believe, and that he had successfully smuggled a weapon in, which was his ability to transform things, so he turned something into cold iron just to, just to show off that he could do it. Uh, and then there was... Uh, so we did we did end up getting uh getting soul back with that uh in a state from before he was taken so you know also just whatever he experienced or whatever damage was undone so long it was before being taken by domino and uh then after that shade really wanted to pull a trick on domino just because he did and uh ended up pulling one pretty well, which was the exact thing that he told Domino to his face he would do in the first session he was ever in this campaign. Uh, and after that, uh, that means that the, uh, the title of the manor got transferred to, uh, to Kin, uh, and other such things as that as we then exited and, uh, started making plans about what to do. Uh, Greaves did follow through with us to the other side. I don't know if he showed up immediately or if he's just planning on showing up in, like, a little bit. It kind of wasn't particularly covered, so uh, that one, I guess, is up to Zim. A magnanimous dispensation. Tokeme tipped $105. Razim contract. Uh, sorry, slight moment of ADHD there. Uh, Toshime, thank you so very much for that tip. That is the tip goal fully completed. Thank you. And, uh, what did you, uh, say, Tao? Uh, I don't know if, uh, if, uh, if Greaves decided to, uh, show up right away in order to, like, continue making deals, or if he was going to make, like, a grand re-entrance thing and it wasn't covered, so. No, he could just be there. All right, so we have we also have Greaves there who followed us out. Uh, it appears that we, uh, we came back pretty much the moment we left, so there was also no time lossage. Uh, anyone have anything to add? I think that pretty much covers it. Uh, pretty much sums it up. Yeah. Normally I go into more details, but it has been like a, a, a hot second, so a lot of the more nitty-gritty details have escaped my mind. I mean, most of the details was in the trying to figure out what rules apply to us and what we can lever we can and couldn't leverage. Yeah. So. Yeah. Which in of itself dragged on a bit. Yeah. Uh, we got it figured out though. We got the thing. Yeah. And uh, and we avoided spilling blood. One way or the other. Sarge's our own. So. Which, by the way, Kin is very, very thankful to have had you there. Because if you weren't there, Kin probably would have spilled blood. Or at least tried to. Honestly, uh, honestly, fair. Uh, the only reason that uh, that Shay didn't want to at least try for it, because he does like a good fight, is that uh, it seems really dumb to to do that in the in the domain of the Fae themselves. Yeah, would have been fun. However, uh, also <laughs> awful idea. So, would have been fun. Awful idea. Probably someone would have died. Probably not Shade, but probably someone. To be fair, I think Shade is like 
almost out of the list of most things killing him. So, but if there was a place, it would be Arcadia. <laughs> yeah. Arcadia would definitely be high up on the list of places that can and would kill him. He would have been fine. Okay, look, it's not like he made a wish on the on, on like the Dragon Balls to be immortal, so he just is. He ju he just basically has a small hack. <laughs> This does not transfer looks. So, skeptical look at Kerr. <laughs> skeptical look at Kerr. What are you looking at me for? What? Why? What would I do? What would I possibly, possibly do? You would have been fine. Sure. Right. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, no, you, you, you summed it up real, real good there. All right, cool. Yes, and now you find yourself back in town. The sprawling manor is now... Uh, when did you get a giant vacant lot in the west side of the town? Because now there's just a giant manor wee there. Wee. And if we... It's always been there. Wee wee. Wee. Hey boy. Manor Coon is very happy to move into town. Cool. Happy to have Manor Coon. Well, uh, that is a... A, a detail to uh, worry about and discuss with Manor Coon at in some time, but right now, right now, Kit needs to organize a war council. Okay. As you wish, Ken. What would you like to do? All right. That's all, uh, folks. Oh. We have been given a wandering bar. <laughs> Yay. I okay. guess the I guess the good thing at, at with Shade is that he views Wandermill exactly as edible as he does most things. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> should, I, should I know what this Wandermill is? Uh, okay, so it, 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 it's a reference to something. It's, uh, basically just imagine a food that fills you but has no nutritional value. So if you eat only that uh, for too long, you starve. It's sawdust. It's sawdust. It's basically sawdust burgers. Well, the saw, sawdust granola bar. Oh, with only right. sawdust and, like, some oat. But, like, the most minor amount of oat possible. It, it, it's feeling, not uh, not nutrition. It has basically it, no nutrition. It it is to stave off immediate hunger. Yeah. If you eat it for right. too long, you do just starve to death. Right. Okay. Anyways, uh, yeah. So war council, we need to deal with uh, Sebastian and the demons. In that order, probably. Uh, and I want to gather together, uh, well, the party, uh, and, uh, and anyone of, imp of importance in, in the town who, who'd be able to really help it in planning this. So, like, Fuko, uh, any other uh, generals that uh, Ken might have, and uh, and then also, um, oh shoot, I haven't used his name in a while. Heron, Heron, uh, for his wisdom. Mm -hmm. uh, can anyone else think think of any, uh, of anyone? 
Yeah, we have a pretty to... good messenger, Almond Roka. Probably Barrow would be be good. I mean, Arm. they're not. Oh good. I mean, they're not in the town, but you should probably talk to some of the leaders of the outlying towns as well if you're going to convene something like this, unless you just mean for it to be, you know, us. But if you're going to involve everyone, you might as well involve everyone. Oh, absolutely. Sure. Get uh, get word out to, uh, to any of the outlying towns and... Uh, and... Organize, organize a meeting and a war council. Uh, how long? Oh, I miss. Uh, Kerr, how man. how long uh, do you think it'll be in uh, in game before we can have everyone everyone needed to be gathered for that? Please, what? Don't um, do probably to get everyone together. To get the messages out, to gather everyone up, it'd probably take around half a day to a day for everyone to get there. Teleportation and psychic types are absolutely wonderful when it comes to this sort of thing. Oh yeah, so, yep. uh, for, one of the uh, one of the lim limiting factors of the Roman Empire was. Uh, the speed the speed of travel for information. Yeah, there and... are there are many psychic psychic type Pokemon are basically not allowed out on missions because of how important they are as messengers and basically t taking supplies and people to and from the different places to help out. Yeah, no, psych psychics are honestly. Psychic types would be the only reason a a uh, worldwide government would be possible at this stage. Anyone who knows, basically anyone who knows teleport is basically considered to be, uh, yes, you soldiers, die for him. Keep them safe. They're that important. Literally. <laughs> literally. Everyone dies before them. Mm -hmm. They're that important for making sure that people can survive this easily. Because again, mm -hmm. you there are quite a few uh, smaller towns and villages. Nothing quite to the scale of like what you guys have, but there's quite a few places that are kind of like you know surviving under the radar, helping out, either sending people to help fight or supplies or places for like the injured to rest like there's a lot of towns and villages that might not necessarily be as strong as like you guys but they, right. they can do their part and they're holding out the issue is they are not as safe as you guys are thanks to Bararu and his barrier as long as Bararu is here you guys have a bastion that the demons cannot just show up and go into you, which would I know be Aceus is at one of those. Yes. Which would be reason why uh, uh, more more of our more of Hilltop's guards patrol roads in, in, uh, over uh, over protecting the uh, the perimeter. Though there would absolutely still be a heavy, a uh, healthy contingent of. Uh, just in case, of course. Just yes. in case. Mo most yeah. of your most powerful allies that you have met, as Shade said, are not in town. They're not in Hilltop. They are in these outlying villages and towns. Basically, one it's kind of like one per town serving as like the guardian of that place. If shit goes bad, they're the people who hold the line until the psychics can start teleporting in soldiers and teleporting out the town's hook. They're the ones who are basically expected yeah. to take on whatever is thrown at them. Oh, absolutely. Uh, okay. Hey, uh, just quick question. Uh, how, is the Natu Cygnus excavation still uh, still running? 
You cut out there for me. What's up? Uh, is the Natu Signes excavation still running? The the Bunnelby construction. Yes. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, because one of the one of the big things is. Uh, um, Pokemon have basically been, considering how unsafe the surface can be, a lot of caves, caverns, and underground uh, living has been done, and there's been a lot of work, research, and study over the last year to make it healthy and as nice as possible. So that type of company, uh, those people who are experts on it, also considered to be very, very important. So they're so they're doing well for themselves. Uh, in uh, then, right. Good to know. Good to yes, know. Yes, just be careful of the domino followers yeah. from inside. They're not, the uh, they're not cannibals anymore. Yeah, remember we re reacclimated them to society. They yeah. they haven't relapsed, thank goodness. They're, they're, it was touch and go a little bit. Yeah, yeah, but we, but they haven't re relapsed. We've uh, we've done good on that front. Uh, okay, so about half a day before before the war council can be uh, convened. Yeah, it'll be about that time. Mostly, the reason why it's going to be taking so long is because such important figures that are coming here to help out. Basically, the the the, the so the go to system set up is uh they come here you send out a large group of soldiers to make sure that everything is safe while they're gone yeah honestly i actually expected it to be longer they in, they, in they game do time yeah they, they have a system set up because you know if something bad happens they you, they want to be able to move instantly they want to be up and at it basically like right. like a fireman force basically if yeah, there's yeah, yeah. even a if there's even a hint of something bad going on, they're ready to start moving immediately to help. For for an emergency, absolutely, uh, being able to be being able to move immediately is important. Uh, okay, well then, uh, for the half a day until that can happen, um, I suppose there's a couple places kin might visit uh one of which being the hospital because uh that's all folks he's he, he never did get around to uh checking in on uh the uh machamp i think it was that uh got injured mm -hmm. uh, yeah the, the masseuse yeah the masseuse and and kin did want to check in on him at some point Make sure everything was going to be all right. Oh yeah, he. Uh, as you go in and check on him, uh, it's pretty easy to get directed to where he is. He's doing okay right now. He he's hey mostly there, just in recovery. He 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 nods. Hey there, I didn't expect to see you here. Hey, no, I'm. I felt real bad about what happened, and I wanted to make sure every, everything was going to be all right. You you going to be okay? Mm hmm. Yeah, I, I'll be fine. Just having some of the healers take care of me is all. Cool, cool. Do you do you need any any compensation for for what happened that that we haven't dealt with already, or or because I I feel real bad about that. Like legitimately, what happened should not have happened. Uh, F Fuko is already taking care of some of that stuff. Um, Okay. He said he didn't want to bother you with it. You already have well, enough he, on your plate. He he hasn't bothered me with it. I I came out I came out here of my own volition, but glad to know that everything's being being taken care of and and perhaps when you're feeling better, uh, we can try it again to to better results, uh, <laughs> preferably. You know, not. Yeah, I'd be happy to try to help you out. Just, you know, hey, as long as like, uh, I don't end up here again. 
<laughs> yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll try to avoid that. Uh, hey, thanks. You you uh, you rest well then. Yeah, and, and if you if you need anything, just let me know. Hey, Ditto, you you if if you find you need anything, let me know. I I I'd be happy to help you out. He's going to smile and nod. Uh, thanks. It means a lot. Cool. All right. Uh, see you around then. Take care. The uh, one safe. bar that was given earlier has been taken away. Zoop. <laughs> oh. No food for you. You're going to starve. Weren't we going to starve already? <laughs> Shale saw that he'd probably be like probably been studying it then it's like Rick why did it go I mean uh, uh, giving it a quick sniff would have told you that it, it was no better for you than, than yeah, eating sawdust yeah so. Shale would have taken a sniff and go but if you go, what the heck is this abomination or something along the line? Especially Shell would, would, <laughs> would have recognized that immediately just because you do, uh, Shell does cooking. Yeah. <laughs> it is definitely a good thing that Nim is no longer part of the Wednesday game because, yeah. <laughs> hey, it's great for losing weight, right? <laughs> So as a weight loss supplement. <laughs> I mean, literally on the little pa on the art that it literally does say diet bar or something like that. Void flavor. <laughs> Void flavor. It has bar no brand. flavor. No flavor, just filling. All right. Uh... Anything anyone else wants to do for, for the half day before the war council manages to convene? Uh, well, he'd probably. Well, what is it, PM Shade? Uh, Shade would probably at least take the opportunity that Sense Greaves is here to try and figure out if there's literally anything he could even pay the man in, because uh, unsurprisingly, uh, with the world the way that it is. Not much gems to go around, or precious metals. Is that many precious metals? I don't actually know what metals you care about. Hey, I mean, I've got a chest of sky iron uh, trinkets and, and accessories that, that if you want to use any of that to butter with. Uh, he would be asking Greaves what sort of metals he even cares about, if any. Well, I am... Um, I, I am willing to barter and trade for metals. Uh, I, I do prefer gems, but I'll accept, uh, you know, precious metals. Okay, so... Got it. Get a bunch of gems for some nebulous point in the future to make this easier. Uh, I know that you got quite a, uh, you know, I know, I know you don't like getting calls, but, uh, how about this instead? You've got quite the laundry list of things that you can sell. But of course, what merchant worth his salt would not be, uh, able to have a very nice, uh, Selection of products. Did somebody say salt, darling? Oh, you. Goodbye. Claw <laughs> <laughs> waggles towards Domino as he's leaving. <laughs> I might have said that word just to bring him about. <laughs> you sassy bitch. Well, I'll have to remember that trick. Um... But okay, okay. Normally, it's um, another word that re that he responds to. Yes, uh, if you were to say "perfect," that'll bring him about as well. Usually, I think, 
I, I think he was paying attention and knows not to come right here right now. So, but... anyways, what can I get for you? Well, it's a little bit complicated because, uh, you know, don't exactly have a... You don't exactly have a, an inventory list that I could go looking at or anything, because uh, I think if I asked for that, you'd hand me a really large sheet of paper that just has, in very small font, the word yes at the top. Oh no, I do have a list, it's just that, uh... Trying to condense the list of products that I have into a format that would not, uh surround this world in multiple layers of paper would be, uh, basically impossible. It's the word yes. But, uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, so, I quite obviously have a bit of an issue where, uh, you see, I'm really hard to kill, at least for, you know, more standard means, which means that uh, Sebastian is also equally as hard to kill, if not more so, by standard mean. Now, I could do a whole lot of things, I think, to try and finagle it and make it really complicated and all of that, or I do have a perfectly good sword here. Uh, how much would it cost, if anything, if I, like, actually were to try and make it so that way this... And I, I get that this is dangerous, because I'm gonna have this thing around me as well, but uh, that my particular brand of healing does not work on wounds caused by this thing. I don't actually know how to use it, but and he's gonna, like, kind of, like, point, like, you know, like, give it, like, a small swing, obviously having no clue how to actually use it. Well, you see, I could certainly enchant that to have it be able to cut through somebody, uh, similar to yourself. However, this other person did come from you, did he not? Technically... Okay, so bit bit of bit of a complicated situation. I don't know if he came from me or I came from him. Technically speaking, he's more original than I am, but also like I was the more recent personality. It, it's it's a very complicated situation, and I think it's best explained of uh, we're both still technically speaking the exact same person, just across two bodies and with different priorities. I think genetically we are literally the same person. Siamese personalities. Yeah, I, I don't I don't really know how to explain it, but like if anything works on him, it would affect me the exact same way. Unless it's like, you know, some sort of We probably have the same soul too. So I got no clue. <laughs> no, that's a consideration that hadn't really thought about freaking that you let the two of you might ha share a soul I, I think we share basically everything because like obviously i have his memories he has my memories uh he has all of my abilities i have all of his abilities unless he's like you know ever up until we split obviously um I'm pretty sure we share halves of the same soul, or just have the same soul, and it's just, like, time shared between us or something. I... Honestly, like, uh, the, the situation is confusing enough, but... One thing uh, to consider is that uh, Sebastian also has now been sold uh, Fey powers and abilities. So Yeah, but that was after, so... So, then again, I, I don't know what any sort of effects me visiting Arcadia would have on that front either, because uh, that place is weird. I mean, I like it, but it's weird.
But uh, yeah, that's. Uh, did you have, did you have like an idea in mind? Because like safe bet is just making it so that way this works uh, completely on both of us. Because we we technically have the same thing. True, true. However, as you pointed out, it would work on you as well. And you see, the balance of this world itself is already messed up. Uh, little bit beyond, uh... Okay, it is very much messed up beyond where I would like to see it. So, an alternative I have... And he's going to go rummaging around in his cart before producing... Uh, one of those horseshoe magnets. Ah, oh, the... yeah, okay. And he's going to uh, set that on the uh, uh, on the counter. So this will be tuned to you, so only you may use it. Since he did, or you came from him, he came from you. Either way, you two are certainly connected. All you have to do is touch him with this, and it will absorb him. Okay. At uh, which point it will turn into a tasty cookie that you can eat and remerge. With yourself right, so. as the only one still there, of course, because, well, you are the one that would have eaten it. Strange, but also, uh, I don't, would that solve the, the problem? Because, like, you know, again... Like, there wasn't, like, some sort of magical effect that split us. I think it was more, like, just me having multiple personalities at that point. Oh, no, his personality would be gone. So would I, like, lose the, the memories? Because... Like, I might be fine just losing the memories, but, like, it happened when I got the memories back, so obviously me having the memories is not a good idea. Less of a good idea? I don't know. Well, which I mean, would you prefer? You have... Do you have the memories? Or did he take those when he split? No, I still have the memories. It's just... But his voice is not in your head right now. So the memories don't make you him. True, but something happened that made him, like, you know, made me effectively have multiple personalities about it, so... Uh... Honestly, I got, I got no clue what made that happen, so... Then just take the memories away. <laughs> I mean, if you want to be rid of the memories, that is up to you. Uh, this method will not have you regain any of the memories that he has had since you split. Oh, okay, good, because I definitely don't want those. I mean, I could guess right now exactly what he's been up to. I, I don't need to have the additional memories of it. I have had That's one fair. life of doing that, and I don't particularly need to have a, a second one. But... Uh, I'm wary about the idea of merging with him at all, but I'll keep this on me. I might use it, might not. It's very, very... And Graves, what's your price for that? Ah, now there is the smart question. Ah, let's see. What do you have here? I mean, if you're able to, if you're able to, like... This, this, this is a little bit, uh... A little bit possibly fraudy. Uh, like, if I give you something that is a gem, can you make it stay a gem?
Because yeah. I might just be able to turn some rocks into gems. I don't, I don't know if that goes past your level of fraud, though. People generally have levels of fraud, right, Ken? It's generally speaking, if you... Uh... If you're able to just mass produce money, and you do so, it does kind of devalue money, and then everyone suffers. Uh, however, instead of going and mass producing gems that are worthless, uh, I have make use uh, of I, devices. I, mm, I uh, there is that sword that you don't know how to use. Uh, there's also, uh, I also have a, a, a chest of uh, cold iron uh, trinkets and accessories that uh, that we could barter with if uh, if Greaves would be amicable to uh, uh, to that to that. Uh, anything beyond that would have to go looking into uh, in, into the town treasury because we uh, we might have some gems uh, uh, stored up stored up in there. How about this? I will take a lock of fur from you. And before you do consume the other one, uh, you will need to acquire a lock of fur from him. Uh, don't know how you're going to differentiate them, but okay. A lock of fur. I mean, look, honestly, with this guy... Like, he's the reason I'm still here in the first place anyway, so, like, if he wanted to do untoward things, uh, he would have done them already. I mean, fair, fair, but... Interesting... Interesting price. Well, I mean, I kinda do have, like, a... some form of, like, you know, weird monstrous power thing, so, like, if he's a merchant, he could probably turn it into something. Hmm. Precisely. Maybe. So, I don't know how you're going to differentiate between our furs, considering, again, we're, like, genetically, we're going to be the exact same person. Ah, but it is about the energy about it. Hmm. You have a very, very distinct energy from your other self. I will be able to tell, I assure you. It's still dangerous, but, uh, okay. I I think that if... Uh, I guess that's, like, an unlock requirement for this thing to work. I have to hand Precisely. you... Oh. All right. Well, so, I mean, it will... As soon as you acquire it, you'll be able to use the item. Just make sure that you acquire the lock of fur before you absorb him entirely. Yeah. Do keep in mind, it will be something that will take a little bit of time. Uh, so it would be recommended that you weaken him first before attempting to absorb him because, well, it will... Uh, he could struggle out. Precisely. We have okay. to get his HP in the red before we can throw the Pokeball <laughs> out. <laughs> kind of like a Pokeball. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so in that case, uh, back to the original idea of the sword... Because, uh, you might have a bit of a skewed opinion of this, but, uh, for most people, and even us, it's going to be very hard to actually hurt him in a long-term meaningful way. Uh, like, I could have my head cut off by most things right now and have a new body in a couple seconds, so... We'll throw rocks at him. True, rocks are good, but uh, it, it'd be exactly as effective as trying to pelt me with a bunch of rocks. I don't think you want your battle strategy against me to be pelt me with rocks. I, uh, oh, look, it did nothing. 
Bro, at, at very best, at very <laughs> best, it went right through, and you know, you know the, slu We're doing the solution. The solution is bigger rocks. <laughs> oh, those rocks aren't working. <laughs> Get the boulders. <laughs> I mean, that would probably at least keep him trapped for a bit until he finally managed to break out in like <laughs> however many years. Just absolutely bury him. <laughs> like, I mean, it would work, but stone. he'd just probably crawl out in like a hundred years or so and get right back to what he was doing. So Yeah, we'll just kick the can down the road for the yeah, next it's... generation. <laughs> but it would be, it, it would have but... the very funny result of uh, me we... still being around, but you guys being gone. So then I have to like, try and teach the new generation how to deal with my evil alternate self. Or, you know, just gives you more time to just deal with it permanently. True. But, yeah, anyway, again, uh, hard to hurt him in a meaningful, lasting way, so, uh, sword idea. Very well, very well. I will require a second lock of fur from you. And from him, well, if he has evolved like yourself, then the payment will be the gem from his hair. If not, uh, I will take the tail. Okay. You know what, sure, here, I'll, like, just pay you up front about it. At least my end. Oh, well, the lock of fur from you is, uh, simply required to enchant it. Oh, okay, well. In that case, uh, sure. And he'll just, like, grab the sword and, like, just chop off, like, an entire, like, thing of fur and then just, like, grow it back to And Grease will take the fur, take the sword, just line the fur along the blade's edge. Uh, and there's a little shimmer, and he hands it back. Alright. Uh, he is immediately going to try and, like, nick himself slightly and see if he can heal it. I would not be healed. It would not heal. <laughs> It would not heal. All right, he's gonna he's gonna go. Hey guys, I can't fix it. It works. Yay! Then we can throw rocks at him. Y y you you get a a uh, blade that supposedly can uh, can actually hurt you, and your first thing to do the first thing you do is is poke yourself with it. He's I need to sure stress it test it somehow. <laughs> do, do you want you me to go do you want Look, I, I mean, to, like, fair. carry this into battle and then try stabbing him only to find out that it doesn't work. I mean, fair. Performance fair. issues. I will I mean, state just... that wounds from this could be healed from naturally, so that Nick will heal as it would for anyone else. So it would take yeah. some time. Obviously, missing limbs are an entirely different situation. Yeah, but I, I could still... Well, that wouldn't heal back by natural means, but, like, I'd still be alive. Mm. I'd just make more blood as fast as I lose it. I mean, it'd suck, but... I could I could survive a while off that, still. Ah, shit, that means he could probably survive a while off that, too. Eh, you yeah. know what? He, would, he wouldn't have the limb to fight back anymore. True, and... It could potentially incapacitate him... Uh for an extended period of time. Yep. Wow, now the more you just I need... think about it, the harder it really is to kill me. Now you just need to get good at using the sword. Ugh, I did... I hey, know I... I, it was part of the plan for it if it did work, but... I like punching things. Hey, I know someone who's good with swords. I think you know him too. I mean, okay, you, that would be you very, were actually, very funny. However... And you were actually getting along fairly well with them, last I recalled. 
Uh huh. But the, you see, the thing says is, as he smiles. Uh huh. And anyway, so the thing is, is that um, on the other hand, he's gonna stab me a lot. <laughs> so long as he doesn't stab you with that sword, it should be fine. That sword or his own sword. Cause... Yeah, I was about to say he he can he can turn he it has off a my sword thing too. I mean, okay, I can he... still slapdash fix it, but like, well, I mean, he used I mean, one of our sword, one of the uh, one of the barracks swords. Yes, plenty, plenty of problem solved. There's no well, no real issue there. The, the problem is his flames. He does he does flame stuff with it. It isn't like innate to his sword. He learned how to use like you know. This a is a training session, so Shade. Would he really go all out? Just in the distance, at midnight. He, he twitches slightly. <laughs> against, against shade. Um, I mean, he knows how to train people, and he knows he, and he knows how to hold back enough that he doesn't actually severely injure uh, newbies, and so. So, so training you should be no issue, especially since he Which wouldn't is... have to hold back nearly as much as as he would with newbies. I'm bad, bad to the bone. To the bone. Just win, just win, <laughs> just win, yes, um, just win. But look, okay, the the, th the thing that has me slightly wary about this is just because it means that I, uh, I'm going to be allowing Fuko to stab me as much as he wants. Christmas comes early? <laughs> and, you is, know, Is Fuko normally... in the area? No. Is Fuko in the... Okay. <laughs> it's normally... like you can hear it. <laughs> normally I'd be perfectly fine letting someone stab me over and over and let them get mad that it isn't taking because that's honestly pretty funny. But with Fuko, it could actually stick. And even if it doesn't, he's just going to look happier about it because it means he gets to stab me more. <laughs> it takes all the fun out of it if he's happy that I keep fixing everything. But <laughs> you'll learn how to use your sword. So you're getting something out of it. Think of it as a bonding experience. It'll be fine. He, he's just going to kick my ass. I don't know how to use a sword. And he'll teach and? you painfully. You have to fall down hey, a few times hey, before you can learn to walk. Yeah, hey Cobalt, how many times did your and did your master beat the crud out of you before before you learned? Cobalt? Oh, no. Did we lose the Cobalt? I was muted, sorry, but I was uh I I say yeah every day. Exactly. That's how training works. You're not just gonna win all the time. But then again, my old band was uh, a lot more uh, intense than everyone else. Hmm. Regardless, if you want to get good quickly, you just you're going to need to get the crap beat out of you uh, quite a bit. That's just how it is. Okay, no one bring this up to him. I'm just going to bait him into attacking me constantly with the sword and try and use mine against him to figure it out myself. Why make it hard? That... Why make it harder it... for yourself? <laughs> just tell him you want to train. Shade, shade. That that's how you get him to di uh, to uh, try to d deal wounds that will stick. Yeah, but I really don't want to ask Fuko for help. Well, just get Ken to tell I'm... him to do it. <laughs> I can ask him to help you. It doesn't have to be you to ask uh, to ask him. No, and it's the... just more that I'm giving someone something that they can actually hold over me. Very adverse to that.
give you a, a little bit of a sideways look, like, really? Yeah, that is the problem. Midnight face palms. I'm getting a headache. Oh, well, I, I, I get it. You're not right, but I get it. Yeah, so, uh, I understand that it is me being asinine right now. However, I'm gonna at least give it a go of just trying to learn by, uh, baiting him into attacking me. Alright, um, you can, uh, you're a big boy, you can decide when, when to stop being silly about it and when, to, and to actually ask him... To train you. Okay, kid. Your your idea here is banking on me deciding to stop being silly. Ken, you might have to intervene Fair on his behalf. Yeah, out of character. We got the, pretty enough. much the Zoroark version of Deadpool. It's kind of hard for him not to be silly. Point. <laughs> 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 it's the Zoroark version of Deadpool. Oh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't. You didn't. You didn't connect the dots. He's I been dead the whole two damn and time. Two together. No. He no. I jokes the people and makes fun of them while they remove limbs from him. Did I not put two and two together like that? You put two and two together. You just got the wrong answer. <laughs> but yeah, no, James is giving you the, the the look of you do realize that's never going to happen, right? Like, he's not saying that, but he's just giving the look. Very well. I shall drag you to him and tell him he needs to train you how to use a sword. There. Come on. You got no. some training, and training to do. Absolutely not. I will turn into a rock or something. I can carry a rock. Yeah, but a rock can't fight. A rock can still be stabbed. And Fuko can make it hurt. You're gonna take this trade and kick it and scream it if you have to. <laughs> no, I think I'm going to just bait him into uh, attacking me in the middle of the training grounds at some point. Or you could always do your inspection like you were going to do. Oh, I was going to do that anyway. He has to be around me for that one. Consider he, you know, wanted to keep an eye on me while I did it, which is going to be very funny because I'm still going to pull stuff under its nose. You know what? I could probably bait him to attack me after that fiasco. Then you're just going to have to accept this and move on. Midnight has slipped away while Ken and Shade argue. I'm just shaking my head, going, "Really? Yeah, really. That's that's how he is." Hmm. I'm being better recently. You have been being better, and that is to be congratulated. It's just I, uh, I appreciate only, it. There is only so much. To there's, do here. there's only so much. Yes. <laughs> so you know, uh, I I have come to my very asinine decision, and I am sticking with it. Okay. So Kerr. Yes. While Shade and Ken are arguing, Midnight has slipped away to go and find Fuko and inform him that a uh, certain thing, certain events are going to transpire. Just going behind both of our backs <laughs> from <laughs> there. <laughs> well, I mean, he is a Zorok, so it's to be expected. <laughs> So <laughs> I have a feeling he'd be at the barracks. Would that be a fair yes. assumption? So Midnight heads to the barracks and speaks to Fuko. Hey, what's up? What can I do for you? 
Okay, so so here's the deal. <laughs> uh, Shade needs training in order to use this sword that he has. Mm -hmm. But he is being too gremlin to accept training from you. So he would rather provoke you into attacking him. But just know that this is... That you just need to train him. Don't don't try to maim him. Okay? Regardless of what Shade does. Wait, so I can beat his ass? Yes, just don't kill him. He just needs to learn how to use the sword. So let me get this straight. I basically am going to get paid to kick his ass. Beat his ass and possibly put him in the hospital to be healed. Yes, just. How is this a bad long, thing? <laughs> just as long as he learns how to use that damn sword, you could do I, whatever you want to him. I'm failing to see a downside here. I just. Don't the downside want. is that is that uh, is because uh, Shade is trying to provoke you into actually attacking him. He won't admit that he wants tr that he needs training from you. So I don't you know, want. He'd sooner die than say yeah, I could do something better than him. Because, he, and I'm telling you, so that you don't go all out and murderize him. Would I murder him? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, you would. Yes, <laughs> yes I would. Uh, yeah, I would. There, there is that acknowledgement. <laughs> and Ken was trying to get Shay to just tell you he wanted training, but he won't. So I went behind both of them to come here and tell you that he needs training. Or I could just kick his ass. Train him. Go and Shade are literally on the exact same train of thought. <laughs> well, Which if he doesn't want it, if he doesn't want to acknowledge it, then Uko, can... the fate of this world depends on it. Train him. My head already hurts. From the both of you. <laughs> Just train the <them>, bastard. <laughs> and yes, you could probably maim him a, a few times. That probably would happen. Just train him. Sold. Okay. Hallelujah. Where's the Tylenol? <laughs> so are you going to be paying me then? Uh, Ken will handle that. Ken doesn't know that you've never <laughs> The easier way to put it would have been, it's in the shade piñata. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the shade piñata. <laughs> but yes, I will inform Ken that I have arranged things no, no, and no, no. to you pay you. You don't tell Kim. You go and tell the person who's who's handling uh, Kim's finances for the, for the town. Well, who who is that? That's been Soul. Oh, I was about to say okay. you talk to Soul. Okay, I will go talk to Soul now. <laughs> so, Midnight will proceed to to talk to Soul. Soul is going to be recovering a bit, but yep, he's good. He's happy to see you. What can I do for you? Hey, Soul. Uh, so listen. Uh, we have arranged for Fuko to train Shade in. Uh, How did you do the that? He hates him. By telling him that he could maim Shade as much as he wants. Okay, yeah, and, that would do it. And, uh, um, you need to, we need to pay him. I'm pretty sure, uh, to, to get, get with him about his uh, price. 
Yeah, I can see about getting him a bonus put into his A check. Awesome. This was so much easier than trying to get Fuko to train him. <laughs> I didn't have a headache. <laughs> yeah, uh, you, you should see uh, the room that Fuko's built up for uh, working out stress. Let me guess, it's full of shade, isn't it? Full of shade. Know, it has, uh, it ha it has cut, pictures of shade. <laughs> cut away to uh, an image of basically what looks to be a gym filled with targets for both sword practice and just uh, bags to start punching and images of shade on everything. I imagine he has large targets and small targets, so that way he can pretend to beat up Shade in both Zora and Zora forms. Mm -hmm. Also, we have a new follower. Thank you for the nice. follow, Novax Jewel. Hmm. But yeah, after talking to Soul, Midnight's gonna go back to the inn and rest his head because he's got a headache <laughs> for the rest of a half a day because there is a war council and yes yes you are yes. invited and i will be at the war council awesome <laughs> and as you lay down to finally rest you begin to hear a soft ticking noise oh no it's the cat <laughs> shut that cat up <laughs> midnight it's like oh no what's happening now <laughs> Midnight will follow the ticking noise. <laughs> Trying to find it, its source. It is leading deeper into your, uh, towards, uh, empty room, it looks like. And night will tentatively open the door. As you open the door, you see a little bo book waddling over another one uh no it's your book it's still my book mm -hmm. i thought Wait, it was but i thought that was on him uh yes you can see the chain is stretched out oh what what, what, what are you doing i was checking some notes in a random room no. As he walks over to the wall, taps it, and you see these sigils begin to glow a little bit. And you can see a uh, mirror start to form over the wall like ice. What are you doing? I was working on a viewing spell to help you. What are we viewing? Uh, it's still a work in progress right now. But I'm slowly, as you can see, as you look at the reflection, you can see almost what looks to be like static uh, on the image. It's not clear, but you, you can see what looks to be a building hidden in what seems to be like... You would almost call it like a cove. Like the way you would reach this place is by boat. And as it would enter the cove, you can see what looks to be a large building has been built into the side of a cliff. Is this Sebastian's hideout or supposed to be? Sebastian's he nods. Hideout? I'm still trying to get a clear image on where it is. It hasn't been easy. Hmm. Um... But I can at least give you a basic area of where it looks like. And I'm trying to get a clear image because, like you, I don't want him around either. The book has been working spell work independent of its user. 
this is not good. This can't be good. Yeah, but at least apparently it's hard focused on Sebastian because uh, at least it doing concerning things is technically helping us a little bit. Yes. But this has implications. Implications that it doesn't need its master to work spells. I'm sure Good thing it'll be he's fine. not a boat because of the implication. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm sure <laughs> it's fine. This is Don't worry fine. about it. Yeah, it's probably fine. <laughs> this could be useful. Well, thank you, book. <laughs> well, I have been trying because if he's not dealt with, well, I'm never getting out of this thing. And what a shame that would be. <laughs> hey, you were doing very well under my tutelage before. I became, I was viewed with suspicion the entire time. <laughs> I'm probably going to be viewed with suspicion now. <laughs> but as much as I hate to admit it, we need each other right now. Exactly. So, I'm just here to help you. And I appreciate the help. It's just not everyone will. We, we should work on that then. Well, we've got a whole war council ahead of us in order to try. Oh, a war council, you say? Yes, Ken is convening a war council to take the fight to Sebastian. Oh, is that so? Uh-huh. It should How be in a few hours. Sure, the... Surely she shouldn't mind if I helped out you out help you out, right? I mean any help would be greatly appreciated. I'm sure uh but I'm pretty sure Ken will be suspicious of any help you provide. Just being real. <laughs> I just wanna help you out. Your enemy is my enemy, after all. I know. <laughs> and while I am willing to use the resource, he is not so... keeps more thinking in variables, as I do not. And yes, he is thinking ahead to when we are when the common enemy is dealt with and then we're at odds again. Mm hmm Well, I don't want to die, and I'm sure you would love for me to move on to greener pastures, right? Yes. So why don't we help out each other? Okay. What 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 do you need? What do you want? In Your order soul. To... Well, Greaves already has half of my soul. <laughs> <laughs> he says he'll grow back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's it's fine. fine. But yes, what what do you need from me? Just a little bit of your energy. Fine. Why 
Wonderful. Then I should be able to get this spell up and running in no problem. Do I need to be awake for this? No. Okay, good. Midnight's gonna flop down on the bed in that room. <laughs> Could you make me integrity roll? Oh, goody. Just a moment. Hey, I'm sure you'll be fine. Four. All right. Yep. As you lay down, the book begins to do its work. And you feel okay. Oh, good. Midnight will just rest until it's time for the war council while the book labors away. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Anything else from anyone? What's Hunter up to? Um, I think Hunter is probably going to be kind of just wandering around the town for the most mm -hmm. part. Um, more specifically... He he's still using the shadows for support, but he is trying to build up his own leg muscles again. Mm hmm So basically just walking. Walking? Thou must be a witch! Oh. Uh, give but us we haven't a... even weighed them against a duck yet. Give us a... Mm, what would this be? Would this be an integrity? No. Um, resistance? Like, just to see would... how well you're walking. Would failure be interesting? Uh, possibly, because then he would need uh, help from someone. I mean, failure. Or he could fall into his own shadows. Fa failure is always potentially interesting. But I suppose athletics would probably. I could see that. Fitting. Yeah, I can see that argument, yeah. I've got a higher cunning, but I'm going to go with instinct for this. Two. Hey, two ain't bad. Okay, yeah. No, you're able to stay up on your feet. And you're able to start walking again. It's a little bit touch and go, but you're actually able to walk. Good job, Hunter. You're doing good. Have a cookie. 
He is definitely going to be avoiding most people uh, if anybody approaches. They just understandable. Come around, they just come around a corner, and he's suddenly up on a rooftop. <laughs> Okay, yep, no, you can do that. But Hunter, they just want to support you. Too many people. Too many people. <laughs> yeah, he, 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 uh, they might want to help, but. <laughs> social anxiety. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, that's that's too too relatable. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. All right. Anything else from anyone? Uh, I know Cobalt is going to train, but he's going to use his magic dummy. Okay. And it's going to take the form of shade. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> awesome. I sense a kindred spirits. Uh, he wants to be ready to take on, uh, uh, on Cobalt. Not Cobalt. Sebastian. 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 Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Name switching around. Thank you. N Jeez. Name hards. Names hard. Name hards. Yes, names hard. As they it turns are... out, this entire time, you've actually been with Sebastian. Nah. That would be a twist. That, <laughs> what that would be a twist, but we're not, we're not doing that one. Nah. Uh, Alright, do you just want me to explain what his, uh, what his general thing is? Because he hasn't actually done too much fighting in the uh, post-time skip. Might as well. Alright, uh, so basically, he, he kind of has a slight... Uh, action economy laundering scheme going on right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, where almost everything he has is a quick action. Except, uh, except for his, uh, his projection. You know, his main attacking move. Gotcha. But he has a, uh, he also has something where it gives him one stack of Amped. And so, since Amped counts as a it being outside your turn if you use it and do an action. He can do the same action twice a turn mm -hmm. if he wants. So basically, when fighting, he could projection twice or he could heal twice or um, he could raise his physical damage twice, like, every single turn. Okay. Uh, besides, right. th b besides that, uh, it's basically a, a pretty simple thing of just being extremely drain tanky. Gotcha. I mean, I do have a extreme speed which is like you know lets me take priority no matter what yeah thou is a witch so and then not to mention cobalt that has endure as well too so like i mean you could beat me all all if you want either like i'm not gonna go down either yeah oh no i'm, I'm just letting you know that it's a uh, what his general thing is so that way you would know vaguely what the training would go like gotcha Which is, uh, basically, he has an action economy laundering scheme going. Mm. <laughs> it's it's all above board, and it does legitimately work. It's just that, uh, like, you know, it basically just lets them repeat things that otherwise would normally not be repeated at the restriction of they have to be quick actions. So, you know, funny. Hmm. I don't know if you actually want to want to roll anything. All right. I mean, uh, I guess that's up the curve. Curve. Should I be able? Should I be rolling uh, something? Yeah. Give us a close. Um, yeah. Let's let's have a combat roll from you. All right. Let's see how well that you do in your training. You do have type okay. advantage on him, 
And he does kind yeah. of disadvantage on you, so, like, you know, you yeah. will be notably very good at it. Yeah. Alright, so just a single attack roll for now? Yeah. Let's just see how yeah. well you do. You're just training against the dummy, basically. Gotcha. Yep. It'll do the right actions, it's just, you know, not... Yeah. Uh, those are D12s. Oh, uh, yeah, I used the wrong one. <laughs> That's my bad. <laughs> so, uh, Zim, what does a what does a result of twelve on the dice give you? A reroll. You know that would be an interesting mechanic to allow people to upgrade to D12s instead of D10s. That that exists in the Star oh, and Wars I... RPG one that I like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm gonna reroll that anyway, but I also use the wrong amount of dice. I use ten. I'm I suppose. Just, yeah, just just roll the right amount of dice. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Well, I'm rerolling anyway, so I'm rolling all, all of them again. Okay, there we go. Uh, is this a stab move or not a stab move? Uh, this is not a stab move. This is extreme speed. Okay, in that case, yeah, just roll those tens. You might crit. Yep. Okay. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So you would hit. No crit. Yep. Okay. Also, I just realized how silly this is going to be because this is two full body characters going at each other, technically. Yeah. Which means that both of their best offensive stats are also <laughs> at play. Yeah. And while my defense isn't as good as yours, I do have, like, again, Endure, so, like... Yeah. So as long as I go, like, I have my turn first, like... You can throw whatever you want at me, I will still, still stay up. Okay, that's what I had him at. Okay. Yep. The only uh the, the, the only tricky thing that Shade would have on that is he does have one thing he could use as a reaction that deals a little bit of damage, so like he could damage you on your turn. But, you know, it does that doesn't particularly matter right now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 10 for damage. 10. All right. That yep. equals his integrity. So chip damage. Uh, the. Uh... By the way, are you sure that that's the right amount of uh, power dice? Yeah. Huh. How much brawl do you have? Five. Oh, do you only have like. I think you have what, like 10 bodies. So that's five plus five. Do you only have three power on the move? Eight, I have eight power to move. Am I counting wrong? I thought I don't. Uh, I thought I only your, added uh, half your body as well, because it's. Physical. Oh okay. Oh, so okay. You, you I... should have five more power dice. Gotcha. I was like, you know, I thought Cobalt would hit harder than this. What? Yeah, that's why I was been going to because I feel like I haven't been hitting as hard as everyone else. Okay, right. so two so, more. So three more. Oh, three so more. All right. That's thirteen. So you deal uh, three damage. Yep. Oh yeah, no. Uh, make sure to make sure to fix that. Yeah, no. Uh, you get you get half of your body on your uh, on your physical moves as extra power dice. I, I thought it was just brawl plus power. That's a but yeah. Nah, it, 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 you also get half your attribute. But hey, yeah, you are dealing actual real damage, so that's that's pretty good against a tank like Shade. Yeah. You still need a little bit more work, I think. But you're doing well. Alright. 
But yeah, that's pretty much how it would go with extreme speed. If I was using uh, Rock Smash, it'd be harder hitting, though. Oh, yeah, because then it'd be type effective. Yeah. Just out of curiosity, just in order to see how he's hitting you back. Because mm -hmm. I imagine the training dummy, like, would actually attack back, right, Kerr? Yeah, he would. Mm -hmm. So, just out of curiosity, because, uh, uh, why not? So, this is a stab move, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Mm-hmm. So that probably hits Cobalt. I don't think it'll crit Cobalt. I it does, but it doesn't hit crit him. Yeah. Yeah, hit no crit. All right. Yeah. And then he'd be looking for eights on this one. So, yeah, no. Punch not, him. Not, not much, Punch not him in the damage. face. He'd still deal chip damage, but just not too much. Type effectivity. Yeah, that was six of my. And my uh, physical integrity is eight. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, Cobalt's slowly dealing actual real damage, and uh, Shade is dealing chip. So, like, you know, absent absent the whole healing thing, it's it's just going to keep going for a while. Yeah, because, again, like, uh, I do have my second action. I definitely would use Endure. Yeah. So, yeah, no, it's just, yeah. Yeah, it, it's 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 the it's 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 the uh, unstoppable force hitting the movable object, like yeah. scenario. Yeah, the only thing that Shade really has would just be uh, having uh, a, it, it, like basically is just an interrupt deal a small amount of damage thing mm -hmm. that he can do. So like that might be the only thing that's thing, but like you know. You're you're taking away his health faster than he's taking away yours, and I'm assuming that the training dummy isn't just gonna do the the heal, just because otherwise it would it would never fucking end. Yeah. This is the song that never ends. Yes, it I goes do on eventually and though want to add like mind. poison jab to my to my retinue of moves though, so that way I can do at least damage over time. Oh yeah, damage over time's good. Yeah. yeah. Not so good. But it'll just be expensive because damage and condition affliction is expensive. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. going to be an expensive move, but uh, you know what? I'm going to try to save up for it. There's a lot of moves I want to save up for, but yeah. Very fair. But yes, you're going to be at this for a while with your training dummy. And even yeah. then, it's probably going to be a while before you're able to take it down. All right. So anything else from anyone? Jail for the half day. Pro help. Two parts to it I can think of. A, it'll probably help, help make the dinner the dinner meal. I'm not worrying about rolling it because I'm not. There's no advantage at this point for it at this point. Mm -hmm. Um. And he's going to, he's going to attempt to, to use what it is in the library to research on the demons without getting into anything uh, evil, cor corrupted, or evil, or tempting in that sense. Okay. What are you looking for? This is what you call a spine of a book. He's primarily looking for. What, what is stories, uh, stories in the history? Uh, possibly, if there's a, if there's legends about running into something like this further back, further back, the uh, back in the strange range ways. Maybe Psy, maybe running it, maybe in for stories about Psy, because I expect that, that he probably showed his butt up in butt up in the middle of stuff, middle of this with the since. He's, he was sent to deal with the crystal. To, to, he handed the crystals out like candy in a way. Mm -hmm. Sort of like general stuff that might give a, give intel on what to do, what to do to brought, to help help push them back and try to reclaim some reclaim. Okay. Uh let us have your research roll then. Uh, that would be academics. 
Okay. Academics is the thing used for research. Yeah. Yes. You must do research. Okay. All right. Um, logic makes perfect sense here. So, of course, yes. Of course, mind, mind logic research. Three, four, five, six. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hey. Okay. Pretty good roll. Three, four, five, I believe. Uh, six. Yeah, six successes. All right. Tell me your questions, and I will tell you some answers. <laughs> I guess the first and foremost is do the do the do the, de do the demons have any sort of like weakness or counter uh, or counter to them? Hmm. From your research, it seems faith in Arceus can weaken them, uh, but it takes a lot of belief and will to do that. It's not just like run of the mill faith; it is intense faith. Hmm. Um, actually, a different bit, bit to look into. Is there any sort of information on the crystals? Like what they're made of, or how they're made, how they they're craft, how they were crafted, or did, if side gave that, I doubt that though. Uh, how the crystals were made? Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Looking here. Um. It's not very clear on the exact information. What you're seeing, though, more is it seems that this the, the crystals may be actually caused by uh, a manifestation of some Pokemon's power, but you're not it's not clear on like what it is or who it's coming from. Huh. I have a bit of an assumption on what on that, but not the not the pro help we probably can get right now with how the last uh, last bit went. Um I guess outside of that just maybe what Maybe the information on what to how to prepare against the against the de demons, I guess. Not much else I can think of, I can think of off the top of my head at least. How so for preparations? Like what are you what are you looking for there? It's like if how what would outside of Ferrari's defense, how well if there's any other ways to defend it to better prepare against if say an attack, attack came on or or to be able to to get a clean get a to break the break against their to break their defenses if we were we we were to to take action or find how the smaller settlements around are I guess the uh, other, uh, actually, a better question is: I guess something to look into. If I doubt there is information, how to break the portals? Oh, that one's going to be a bit tougher. Uh, you wouldn't have information on directly how to destroy or damage the gates themselves, but you do have a little bit of information um, for for the demons for manifesting in this reality is extremely taxing and difficult for them. Uh, it drains a lot of their energy just to exist, and the way they recover that is by torturing, <laughs> seducing, and doing horrific things to people, usually. Uh, no. Uh, that is it, noted for two reasons. If denied that, though, they will start to basically fade. Okay. They feed off of... They feed off of... Uh, the suffering of people. Yes. 
And the the more suffering it is, the easier it is for them to last, and they're also attracted to it. Fear, despair, anger, sorrow, Mm. uh, pretty much anything like that can attract them. Um, That is noted. But they do... If they're denied their food source, they're weakened... And their physical forms will break apart. They won't be able to physically manifest to harm someone. That doesn't mean they aren't dangerous, but they can't physically grab you and just tear your head off. That's interesting to know. Hmm. Uh, I really like doing that one. Holy symbols and objects also will... uh, can weaken them. The stronger the faith of the person who crafted it or imbued it... Uh, the easier it is for them to actually resist. Oh. Noted. Alright. Um, I guess the question... Hmm. I guess that leads to something that needs to be brought about he worked on town wise in time but with that said he'll finish his research and take it and yeah take care of the uh the meal at the at that the meal at the the end and probably just get some sleep to prepare for tomorrow mm-hmm. you're getting the rest for tomorrow <laughs> you're getting the rest for tomorrow all right. Sounds good, though. Let's see. Uh, Brussel, what are you up to? Well, I'm making sure my people are doing what we talked about. Yes, your people are very much busy taking care of things, keeping things uh, busy, and otherwise... Trying to handle everything that you give them. They don't want to screw up. They don't want to mess up. Finding out about the little... The little alcoves. And seeing how we can help them. Uh, There's quite a few. Most of them are mapped. Uh, But there are here and there. You are discovering that there are some... That you did not necessarily know about. Asking, seeing what they need and how we can assist. They are very much afraid of, you know, revealing themselves because that tends to end badly, but your people are able to slowly start working their way in to start gathering information and sending in supplies and help. And Brussels people is better at being discreet than, uh, say, a town guard. And this is from Hilltop. Mm -hmm. But yes, they would be more than willing to, uh... After some time, they'd be more than willing to try to help out a little bit, and... They, they don't really have any supplies that they can send, but they can give some information if you need it. And that would be passed on to Kin. Yes, is there anything else that you would uh, like to do? Not at this time. Uh, obviously she would be getting ready for the whole, uh, the whole thing, but with what he wants to do, I don't know if he'd be able to do it before the war thing, because that's, that's only like half a day. So. Probably just him making a bunch of preparations for, uh, for the shit he's going to try and pull in order to test security. Wait, what? What? 
But. <laughs> what, do you think he's going to do an audit and not try and get stuff past people? <laughs> uh, what's the point uh, of an audit if he doesn't try to, uh, it, like, you know, pull something and see if they'll notice him doing it? Go for it. If you want to try to do that, go ahead. Uh, well, for his preparations, uh, there it's going to be a little bit janky. Uh, we use uh, we use uh, like you know, gold, silver, copper here, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, he's going to turn a little bit of gold into uh, just a lot of a lot of copper pieces. You know, a couple hundred. Mm hmm. Uh, so that that's gonna be one of the things which I I'm just already imagining that Shade explicitly trying to get a bunch of copper pieces is uh, worrying as hell. <laughs> it's gonna at the very least get some raised eyebrows, if not a closer inspection and a watch put on you. Yeah. So you know, he he goes uh, gets a gets a lot of copper. Uh, he's not trying to be sneaky and like pretend to be someone else, like getting change or anything. He is literally just straight up doing this as himself. Uh, he wants this to be as suspicious as possible, so that way they uh, they they they're they're able to like know a little bit that he's probably he's... going to pull some shit. Mm -hmm. That he's trying something. <laughs> that he's going to try something. Uh, so, uh, in, in addition to that, uh, he's going to uh, mostly just mostly just be preparing by uh, figuring out exactly where various, uh, what equates to government buildings. <laughs> so like i know i know there's the the main like town hall thing uh what all is included in that building uh there is the um town hall uh that's where like the meeting area for like getting laws and such passed or just talking about issues that are coming up um also where like weddings and stuff are done as well um a lot of like the paperwork and such is stored there it's a fairly important building mm. no weddings would probably happen in a chapel well right? this is where they get all the paperwork done yeah 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 uh, I I just I I just uh, went ahead and listed it as meeting area with public facing events. Yes. Well, the reason that is they also have a chapel in the building. That way, people can get everything done. Fair. All, all at once. Ah, it's for the right, people right, right. that used the Justice of the Peace to get married instead of an actual ceremony in a church. If they want to be. Well, quiet. you guys, are, you the town is constrained on space, though. So that they too. want they they want buildings to serve as many purposes as possible. Yeah. That's fair. Uh, That's fair. So, like, for example, would the public bank also be the treasury then at that point if they're trying to combine buildings? Yep. Pretty much all, like, the government stuff is done in the building for people. Yeah. Uh, but, like, just, like, you know, for example, like, there would be places where it's like, oh, hey, the bank is also probably the treasury, uh, like, you know, that kind of stuff. Yes. All right. Uh, and so, uh, what other vaguely important buildings are there for the government? Um, there is the barracks for the guard, the town guard. Um, I take it they also act as police, like yes. the police station. They do. Yep. yep. Um, uh, let's see what else for the, for the government specifically. Um, you do have the guild hall for, uh, the, uh, rescue teams. Those are still around. Those you have still Hunter's around. room. <laughs> True. Well, technically he has like five of them. 
Four, because one of them got busted up, so four rooms. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. They've kind of really condensed down into pretty much just w one really large, um, basically like the mayor. One uh, annex. Mm hmm. All right. Uh, Ken would be very aware of uh, of uh, concepts like information security and uh, and. and training in uh training around levels of access uh so as long as it's regularly uh reinforced hey if you don't have x level of access you don't get access to certain things then uh then th that sort of combination of facilities, uh, the, the issues around that can, can be uh, worked around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. I, sorry, I just wanted to. I, I just wanted to make sure that I knew all of the various buildings that he would actually even have to inspect. If he's doing like you know a a, a security audit for various things, because uh, you know. Mm -hmm. If mm. it's government involved, it probably needs to have really high security. Yes. And I'm, I I feel like Kin is fully aware that because it's Shade, he's going to try and pull something, and he might even find something, which is why he's going to let him go through with it. <laughs> true, true. Uh, if you find flaws in the security, it would be, it, it, it would be helpful to know. Especially because uh, it, it's also doubly funny because I don't think Shade has any official position with the government right now. <laughs> Beyond like friends sure you do. with a bunch of persona non grata, <laughs> but you know, besides mm. friends with a lot of high ranking people. <laughs> <laughs> if Fuko had anything I to suppose. say about it, you'd be persona non grata in the government. <laughs> True. Just, just every single break room having pictures of uh, Shade in both forms going. Do not tell this man anything. <laughs> Especially, do not tell this man anything <laughs> unless unless authorized by a by your author uh, higher authorities. Do not trust him. Do not tell this man anything. Do not let him inside. But yes, I think. Because we are also going to be having the meeting very soon. It might be a good time for a break now. So we can we won't stop halfway through the meeting because the meeting might go on for a while for planning out really? everything because you guys are going to yeah. be going after Sebastian soon. Yep. You're going to be going after Sebastian, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I guess uh, just, to, just to end off this section then, uh, the only other thing that Shay would be doing beforehand is... Uh, going to, like, the outside of all of these buildings and uh, checking them out beforehand. Just a little bit. The guards right. see you scouting the buildings and immediately uh, the security levels ra uh, ratchet up, like, two or three levels. <laughs> yeah, especially when they check it. It's just like, Shane has recently gotten, like, 600 copper coins exchanged for some reason. It's not illegal, but it is suspicious. <laughs> Hey, look, copper coins bounce off the barrier wall. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us so far on the stream today. That was The Last Hope Scar. Check out our website, zgfgaming.com. We've got links for our Discord, Telegram, Mastodon, Blue Sky, Patreon, and more. They are on the website as well as down in the description below through our link tree. Thank you to my patrons, tippers, and subscribers. It is your support that keeps this channel alive and going. I cannot do this without your guys' help and your support, so thank you. Consider becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash zgfgaming. 
It's one of the best ways to support the channel, though you can also do so by sharing the stream around. As well as coming by, hanging out, grabbing packs of cards to stream loot, going and checking out our uh, kind of pseudo sponsor, Make Your Tail, where you can go get yourself a custom tail made, as well as paws and other things. Uh, there's a link to them down in the description below. But for now, thank you so much for joining, everyone, and I bid you the most fondest a duke. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.